If you're interested in helping us gather bags, I'll show you the preferred way to store and send them to us. Oftentimes, we'll receive bags that have been wadded up, twisted together, or tied in a knot. Doing this makes it more time consuming for the next person to process them. The easiest way to store them for the next person is to straighten them and then fold them either once or twice. Stacking them in a box or another bag works well. If you want to cut the bags as well, that is great and you will be helping the next person save time. To prepare the bags to be used for weaving and making cords, here's how to cut them. Straighten the bag, fold it twice, then cut about three fingers width of the bag off the top and the bottom. Cutting closer to the bottom or to the handles causes frayed or loose parts, so don't be afraid to cut three fingers or more. The scraps are saved to be used for stuffing pillows and the middle section is saved separately to be used for weaving later. Watch for holes and tears in the bag as those will be too weak to use for weaving. Instead, cut those bags into scraps that will be used for making pillows. Holes in the bottom or near the handles are fine as that part will be cut off for scraps. Next I'll show you two ways that bags can be tied together for weaving or making a chain. The first method involves putting a bag over each wrist. Then with each hand, grab a side of the bag on the opposite wrist, pull the hands apart and the bags off the wrists. The second method involves making a T or a plus sign with two bags. Push the end of one bag through the middle of the other bag. With one hand, grab the end of the first bag. The other hand will reach through to grab the second bag, pull the hands away from each other forming a knot. To chain bags together, take two tied parts. Push the end of one part through the middle of the other part. Put the opposite end of the first part through itself, then pull the ends to form another knot. Make sure both sides of the part stay even as you make the knot. Otherwise, loosen the knot. Make the sides even and tighten the knot again. Repeat this to create chains. You'll want to make chains of 140 total bags. The chains are then rolled into balls. The balls make it much easier and faster to load a loom to start the weaving process. Two balls or a total of 280 bags are needed to load a weaving loom. You can start by rolling a ball. You can start rolling a ball by loosely wrapping around your thumb. Continue wrapping the chain into a ball then tuck the end.